Hey, today we're gonna to make the most delicious chocolate chip cookies ever. These are the ones that I make for my clients usually at Christmas time, and everybody loves them. And I'll give you a lot of tips as I go through. My mom was an incredible baker, so I learned a lot of things from her. Number one, get your oven turned on preheated to 350. And then you're gonna start with four cups of butter, I mean, sorry, four sticks of butter, and you want to let this get nice and soft, so I actually put them out overnight. And then just a little tip you can do is take your butter papers and rub the back of those papers onto your pan so your pans are greased. Put the butter in the bowl. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cream the butter and the sugar. So that was four sticks of softened butter, two cups of white sugar, and two cups of brown. And I left it in this shape so you know when you do brown sugar, you want to pack it in all the way tight. That's how you measure brown sugar. Okay, so let's get started with the blending. Now my sugar, even I mean my butter, even though it was out all night, is still a little bit stiff, so it's gonna take a minute to get it creamy. You wanna mix until most of those big chunks are out of there. That's pretty good. Even if you have a few, it's going to get nice and creamy once we add four eggs. And you're also going to put in a tablespoon of vanilla. Make sure you get real vanilla, not imitation vanilla, because this is going to give you the best flavor. And we shouldn't have any issue mixing here. So it's nice and creamy, so turn your speed up. Okay, that looks good. Now for our flour, what I always do is I stir in the salt, which is one teaspoon. You can see I have Himalayan salt here. And then two teaspoons of baking soda. You wanna just mix that in with your flour. And then we're gonna mix the flour in, but we're gonna do it lightly because it gets too stiff for the mixer and then we'll finish by hand. So we'll just start by slowly pouring it in. You can see it's already getting pretty stiff. Just lightly mix it a little bit here and then we'll finish with the spoon. Okay, we're going to finish off here with the spoon. And yes, I know my bowl is not huge, but this is what I use all the time. This was my grandma's bowl that I love to use. And then I am going to use, and I have no idea where to get these. I think my mom got this in the 70s. It used to be an ice cream scoop. It is heavy duty. You need something very heavy duty because this dough will bend a regular spoon. So you just want to mix this a little bit better until it starts to look like dough. And then we'll do, of course, the best part ever, the chocolate chips. And sometimes I'll push with the back of the spoon as well, just to really get the flour mixed in. All right, that looks pretty good. We can start putting in the chocolate chips. Four cups. I recommend semi-sweet. Because the dough is sweet, you want a little bit of a tartar, not as uh, sweet chocolate chip. So either a semi or a dark chocolate chip makes the best cookie. This is the part where you got to use a little bit of muscle. You got to actually really work this dough now. Get the chocolate mixed in. And as you notice, I am a bit of a sloppy cook and it doesn't bother me. That's what makes it fun. Now you can see how nice, look how nice that dough is. It's nice and thick. This is perfect. This is exactly how we want it. If it's too soft, the, the cookies will get flat. So this is a really good, this is a great consistency. And then I'm just gonna show you how to put them on the pan. A few 
one more stirs here. Oh, you can see how thick it is and how hard it gets to stir. Okay, let me grab a pan here. And this is all good stuff. Don't worry, I cleaned my surface. This is all good stuff we can throw back in here. Take a pan. I like to make pretty generous size cookies. So what you'll do now is you'll fill your tray with 12. So we'll do three across and four back. So you want to continue filling your tray and then we're going to bake them for 10 to 12 minutes and I'll show you when we pull them out. It's very, very important to slightly under bake, not gooey, but if you over bake, they'll get dry. So we'll come back and look at those once they're baked. Welcome back. We're going to take our cookies out. Remember I said you want to slightly under bake so you can see they're still pretty wet around the top, which is what you want. And you're going to leave them on the tray. They need to stay on here for several minutes before you pull them off. I went ahead and made my next tray while I was waiting because I wanted to show you a better proportion of the size because the first time I made them, I made them a little bigger than what I should have made them. I had to bake them for 13 minutes. And then the second time, I did a big mistake. When I hit the timer off, I actually canceled the oven. So when I went in to check them, they were just melting and not baking. So once I returned them on, they were flat. Now, if you make mistakes like I do, don't worry about it because they're still yummy and everybody's still gonna eat them. So we'll come back then in a few minutes. I'll show you how they should look when you take them off the tray. I'm gonna let the cookies sit on the tray several minutes and then I just sort of check them. They're getting a little stiffer here so you can get them off. You wanna take your spatula anywhere they're connected. Just make a little cut. I just use wax paper. I don't have a tray for cooling, but if you have a cooling tray, you can do that. Now mine are always a little bit different shapes. If you wanna be real perfect with making your balls before you put them in the oven, you can do that. But in my house, they get eaten so fast, I don't think anybody realizes what shape they are. So there we are, the best chocolate chip cookies ever. I hope you enjoy.